This video summarizes one of the Pedro top 20 trials. The trial was led by Leanne Bissett and investigated physiotherapy, corticosteroid injection or a wait and see approach for the treatment of tennis elbow. When this trial was conducted, there was limited high quality clinical research to guide the treatment for tennis elbow. The aim of this trial was to estimate the average effect of physiotherapy compared to corticosteroid injection and a wait and see control group on global improvement in people with tennis elbow. 198 participants were recruited. To be included, participants needed to have a clinical diagnosis of unilateral tennis elbow of at least six weeks duration. Participants were randomized to three groups, 66 to the physiotherapy group, 65 to the injection group, and 67 to the wait and see group. Allocation was concealed. All groups were given an information booklet that outlined tennis elbow and gave practical advice on self-management. Participants in the physiotherapy group received eight 30-minute treatments over six weeks. Mobilization with movement and therapeutic exercise was administered and taught in the clinic, then implemented as a home program. Participants in the injection group received an injection containing 1 milliliter of 1% lidocaine with 10 milligrams of triminolone acetonide to the painful elbow. They were advised to return gradually to normal activities. A second injection could be administered after two weeks. Participants in the wait and see group were reassured that the condition would settle, given simple advice and encouraged to wait. For this video, we will focus on the outcome of global improvement at the 52-week follow-up. Global improvement was recorded on a six-point Likert scale that ranged from completely recovered to much worse. Success was defined as being completely recovered or much improved. At 52 weeks, 94% of participants in the physiotherapy group were classified as a success compared to 68% for the injection group and 90% for the wait and see group. Participants in the injection group were 28% less likely to be classified as a treatment success than those in the physiotherapy group with a 95% confidence interval of 13 to 40%. Participants in the injection group were 25% less likely to be a success than those in the wait and see group with a 95% confidence interval of 10 to 38%. Participants in the physiotherapy group were 4% more likely to be a success than those in the wait and see group. But this estimate is not as precise because the 95% confidence interval ranged from wait and see being 7% more likely to be successful to the physiotherapy group being 15% more likely of being successful. The long-term results of this trial indicate that both physiotherapy and a wait and see approach are superior to the corticosteroid injection. People with tennis elbow can be reassured that most cases will improve when given reassurance, advice and encouraged to wait and see.